this video, I'm going to show you the cross concept out of the bunch tight end formation. This is going to be in the Packers playbook, but you can find this play in pretty much any bunch tight end. It's P boot over PAL cross is kind of the base. The main purpose of this play is we're using it for the crossing route. That is the main route on this play that we're going to be looking at. And then we're going to have some other supplemental routes that are going to make this a really, really good concept. If you want to get my bunch tight end ebook, it's in the Patreon. 10 bucks and it gets you access to all of the ebooks. Everything in there, over 15 different ebooks. We actually just dropped an update to bunch tight end as well. So make sure you're in there. It's only 10 bucks and uh, I think it'll make everybody that joins it a better Madden player. So the setup for this play is we're going to drag our inside bunch receiver. We're going to streak our tight end, and we are going to slant our outside bunch receiver. We're going to motion him out, and as soon as he moves, we're going to snap the ball. And basically what you're going to see is they absolutely ran their routes like crazy people right there. So I'm going to take Frank Gore out of the game because Frank Gore should never be on the field um, in, in, in this game. So let me put uh, let me put Devin Hester there. So when you have an actual capable receiver, um, <laughs> this crossing route is really, really good. Now, the drag routes and the slant are good as well, but the main route on the play is this drag route to the crosser, the high-low to the right, and then the backside slant. This is one of the best concepts in the game. And what it does is if you think about what people will do defensively is they're going to defend that bunch side. But what this does is it makes them defend the bunch side, but it also makes them defend the tight end side. Right. So they're going to defend both sidelines, which is going to open up some other stuff. Now, I want to show you something else real quick. A uh, little pro tip. So Michael Vick came out. A lot of people are using him. If you are running a play action play. Um, and you want to speed up the handoff animation, then you want to flip this if your quarterback is left-handed. So in this example here, um, Michael Vick is obviously left-handed. So what we want to do is we're going to flip the play so that the running back is on his uh, on the throwing hand, on the side of the quarterback's throwing hand. So here he's on Michael Vick's left-handed side, which is going to make this a faster handoff, and it will make it a little bit more of a natural rollout. As you see right there, the crosser absolutely destroys man coverage. And then what it does is it forces the user defender now to have to go defend that. Because a very common man coverage this year is essentially man coverage with two hard flats so you can stop a drag route, right? Well, because of that adjustment sequence, then what it's going to leave open is this backside motion slant. And you'll see it right here kind of come over. That was awesome, Jalen Hyatt. Hyatt. Can't believe you you ran into the flat zone like that. The bumping in Madden 24 is the is the death of me. It is so bad. Um, I just cannot stand the way the receivers bump into each other. But if he actually runs his route right, you'll see he'll get open right in the middle right there. And he'll be a great check down because he'll space the field really well. Because if you think about it, they've got to commit to the crosser by that point. So they already have to be going to the crosser when you're starting to look to that slant route. So again, my reads, essentially, I'm going to always look to the tight end first because I want to see if I got something. If I don't, I'm looking at that drag. If that's not there, I'm looking at that crosser. Here I got nothing because the slant actually stopped running his route. I'm going to show you what to do if you don't want that to happen. So if you don't want the slant to stop running his route, the easiest thing to do is use a motion drag, and it will basically do the same thing. Um, so if you're tired of slants, uh, use drags. So you see here we use a little motion drag. He'll come in, he'll stop, and he'll get that nice check down read for a couple of yards, right? Now, this uh, this play is really good against man, but it's awesome against zone. It's really good against zone. Uh, why is it good against zone? Because, it, again, it really spaces the field very, very well. And you see here, drag, nope, because they got hard flats, but I got my crosser over the top because they didn't go user it, right? So it's a simple streak, uh, streak. Crosser, drag is pretty much the read progression that I like to do. You could go streak. You always want to look to the streak first. And then from there, you could go with a drag route and then crosser. So I'm going to go streak. No, drag. Yes, I'll throw it. Right. Or if the, obviously there, the, the quarter flat did jump it. If the quarter flat jumps it like that, the crosser's open every single time. So, you know, just, just keep that in mind. Um, but this is a very good play, and it just attacks a lot of different defenses. You'll see here, okay, he's going to sit on that just like that. So guess what? We're going to throw this over the top, and we're going to hit that as a big play. Eventually, what they're going to do on that side of the field is they're going to call a cover two, and they're going to back these dudes up just like this. And then now what you can see is this back or this drag becomes a really good little play because you can hit it right there turn up field and get you, you know, 5, 10, 15 yards if you break a tackle. 
could be a really big play for your offense. So what we really fundamentally are going to force our opponent to do from an adjustment perspective is they're going to have to drop their zone drops. They're going to have to double Mabel. They're going to have to really um, have zones on the field to help them because these routes right here, they just always work. And again, once the middle is open, when the middle of the field is open, that slant or that backside drag or backside in route is always going to be there for you. You could, if you want to, put him on a backside in route and let him set his feet just like this. And then you'll see here, now you've got a backside in and you see your backside in is also going to be able to beat man coverage. Guys, PA boot over is an extremely versatile play that you can literally use to attack any defense in this game. And uh, I really recommend using it to attack um, any defense in this game. But I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you want to get my entire Bunch Tight End Offensive ebook, you can join the Patreon. Uh, again, it's only 10 bucks to, to get in there, and it's going to get you access to everything. It's going to get you access to all the ebooks, it's going to get you access to all the updates to the ebooks, any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. And again, it's only 10 bucks. I guarantee you that it's going to help you make uh, help make you a better Madden player. It's helped make me a better Madden player. So uh, head down to the description. Go join the Patreon today. It's only 10 bucks, and it'll get you access to everything. Thanks for watching. And uh, again, head down to the description and go check out the Patreon.